Hi, it's Ms. Chandler again, and I'm here to talk about the eraser tool. We talked about it before, but this time we're going to use it in a different way. So I want to show you this really neat activity. It's a hidden picture. Now, I've already got it put in my seesaw here, so let's look at it. Now, I want to read the directions first because it's always good to start with the directions so we don't mess up and we get it right. Today, hello, today let's play with the eraser tool. I have some buttons hidden inside the boxes. Use the eraser to scratch off to see how many buttons are hidden. Type the number below the buttons. Hmm. So the first thing you're going to do is grab that eraser tool. Remember, it's down at the bottom. I'm making it pop up and down. But I'm going to click it to highlight it. Now, if you're on the iPad, you're just going to touch it because you're ready to use the eraser. And then I'm going to scratch off what's inside the box. So let's see if I find a hidden, <gasps> hidden picture right there. Do you see that? Oh my goodness, that is so cool. So I used my eraser to reveal how many buttons are in the box. Now I'm done with the eraser tool on this box. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do the next part where we have to label how many are there. Now let's count how many buttons are here. Now I like to touch and count, so then I don't lose my place. But when it's on a computer, I can use my mouse to touch and count. Or if I'm on the iPad, I can actually use my finger. So I'm going to count with my mouse. One, two, three, four, five. There's five buttons. So now I'm ready to type. So I'm going to get that T. Remember the T so I can type or label something. And I'm going to type the five. Oh, that doesn't look like it's going to fit in my box. So let me drag it and let's see if it fits. Does it fit? It doesn't fit. Hmm. So I'm glad this came up because sometimes it's tricky to resize your objects, to make them fit in the right spot. Now this one's too wide, and we gotta squish it and make it skinnier. So I'm gonna just grab one of the side dots. You see how I have this little side dot? And I'm gonna squish it to make it a small square. And then I can drag it underneath there. If you're on the iPad or a phone, you can use your fingers. You can do two fingers like this or two fingers like this, and you're gonna make it smaller. You can also make things bigger or smaller by just grabbing a corner and going bigger and smaller. But mine was just wide, so I just needed to grab that little side button, side dot, and squish it over. So that's how you resize that in case you forgot. Then it says use the record tool to record yourself reading these letters. And you already know how to do that, so I'm not going to show you that. And then when you get done, remember to hit that green check mark and send it to your teacher. Okay, well, I hope you have fun with this activity and that you have a wonderful day. All right, we'll see you next time.